So, so, so. And our, our applicant is here. No, we're not the applicant. He's a, he's um, a member of yeah, the they're on Zoom. <laughs> They're on Zoom. They're, I'm sorry. They're on virtual on Zoom. Oh, okay. Okay. So there. Let's start. And, and we have the member of the public here. Oh, we'll, we'll, go ahead and, <laughs> we'll go ahead and start. Whenever you're ready. Do yep. call the meeting. Okay. Um, board member Boren. Board member Carney is absent. <clears throat> Board member Fennell? Here. Board member Klein is absent. Board member Marslin? Here. Vice Chair Garrett? Here. Chair Mazur? Here. Let the record reflect that all board members are present with the exception of board member Carney and board member Klein. Good. I'd like to welcome everybody to um, tonight is a, a special uh, business meeting, uh, Cultural Heritage Board, and um, so it'll be a little bit of an abbreviated agenda as we're just going to be dealing with um, one item on the agenda tonight. So um, item two, board business. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and open and close board business. We won't deal with any board business tonight. And I'll move on to item two point one statement of purpose i will read that uh, principal duties of the board include undertaking and updating historic inventories or surveys recommending designation of landmarks and preservation districts reviewing proposed alterations to historic buildings and promoting public wellness of preservation issues if you are in a historic district or would like more information regarding historic districts please see the processing review procedures our owners of historic districts or historic properties. Um, so item number three, statement of abstention by board members. And basically, if you have a reason why you need to recuse yourself from this item uh, that we're going to be looking at, this would be the time to speak up. Not seeing anyone, we'll close uh, item three. Okay, move right into welcome, Patrick. Moving right into our scheduled item tonight. Um, this will be public hearing for landmark alteration for a new single family dwelling at 912 McDonald Avenue, file number LMA22 016. Uh, the background construction. Construct new one-story, 1,873-square-foot, three-bedroom home with detached garage, a pump well house, or a well pump house, and covered outdoor area. The project is exempt from California Environmental Quality Act. And uh, I, I will add uh, for the board members that this is a new building, so it's not a historic structure that's being remodeled it's it's new building on on new ground and um, we have the presentation uh being made to us tonight by uh, christiana uh candelaria yes is that right <laughs> yeah candelaria okay oh kristen uh, okay thank you okay i'll turn it over to you okay. Uh, good evening, members of the board and Chair Muser. Um, today I'll be uh, going over the mayoral residence, and they're up here for the major landmark alteration, which is PRJ 22-027. Um, this is at 912 McDonald Avenue. Um, here's some of the uh, project descriptions. So this is going to be a new one story on an undeveloped lot in the McDonald Avenue Preservation District. It's going to be 1,873 square foot single family dwelling with three bedrooms and two and a half baths. Um, there's going to be a de detached uh, two car garage, the well pump house, and then a outdoor cover area. <laughs> this site is not a contributor to the district as it is undeveloped. 
Um, for the project history, this was submitted last year on October 10th. Uh, we held a neighborhood meeting and then we also did concept cultural heritage with all of you um, that were present. Uh, and then we did a notice of public hearing on December 3rd this year. And then today is the public hearing for this item. Um, for this location, the general plan and land use designation is low density residential and the zoning is in a plan development, which is PD005-H for mainly single family homes. Um, so this is the first rendering I'm going to show. Um, you can see all of the landscaping that is going to be proposed and then what the design of the house is and we'll go into some detailing. Um, here's the materials and colors. Um, you can see some of what they're going for uh, with paint and the wood style and some of the roof shingling. Um, here is the site plan. Um, you'll see McDonald Avenue is actually on the left and then that alleyway is behind on the right. Um, there's going to be a walkway going around and then you'll see the outdoor patio area and the car, two car garage that leads to the alley as well as the well pump house in the back. Um, here is the house floor plan showing all of the bedrooms and the dining area. And I'll be showing some of the elevations. Oh, sorry. This also shows the backyard floor plan. So this is where the garage, and the outdoor covered area is located. Now here's the front elevation. And you can see the design matching some of the similarities in the McDonald Avenue district. And some more elevations on different locations. Um, this is also showing for the accessory structures as well as the way it fronts the alleyway. Um, they also provided the landscape plan. Uh, one thing I wanted to note is that the front trees were changed as per some comments from the Cultural Heritage Board. They were previously um, going to do crepe myrtles in the front on the street frontage, and now it's going to be ginkgos as requested. <clears throat> um, here is a composite rendering of how it looks like as it would be built within the street. Um, as part of this project, they also had to complete a historic standards report. This report reviewed the Environmental Qual California Environmental Quality Act, the Secretary of Interior Standards of Rehabilitation. Those standards covered basically everything that needs to be reviewed for historic buildings and historic construction. Um, they also were reviewed under the National Park Service guidance, as well as the Santa Rosa Design Guidelines for Historic Properties. We also have the processing procedures for owners of historic properties. And then there's an additional history of the district and the site, and then architectural compatibility of the primary and accessory structures with the district. And also wanted to point out like the setbacks were also looked at as they would follow uh, the other houses in the neighborhood. Um, the findings of this report is stating that they would follow within the character of the district. And so many of the design qualities that they have are things that you would see surrounding in the neighborhood and as the, as the district as a whole. Uh, these are some of the required, these are the required findings for a major landmark alteration permit. Um, it's eight standards, just looking at the general plan and the zoning code and how it is compatible with different landmark structures in the neighborhood and maybe ones that look like contrib that are contributors and then consistency and compatibility with some other textures and materials. Uh, this project was reviewed under the California Environmental Quality Act and they qualified for a streamlining measure pursuant to one California, sorry, CEQA section 15183. Uh, general plan consistency analysis was conducted for this plan and it was concluded that it was consistent with the general plan 2035. Uh, it was further concluded that none of the findings under the uh, appendix guideline G require any additional environmental review with 15183. And there were no mitigation required beyond implementation of the general plan policies. Um, there are no unresolved issues as a result of staff review. Um, I did want to 
indicate some of the issues that did come up during the project. Um, we needed to receive the historic standards report and a cultural resources study. Uh, we received those and they all are in compliance. Uh, after the concept cultural review, we had some updates to the landscape plans and then the they changed some of the windows to be wood clad per the historic report. And then we also had to get the consistency analysis. Um, sorry, I didn't hear the last part of that. Oh, and then we received oops, sorry. the consistency. Yeah, the general plan consistency analysis. Okay, thank you. Um, we did receive two public comments um, after this presentation was created. Um, uh, they were both positive and in support of the project. One of them was just a little bit concerned about how close they might be to the alleyway, but I was able to assure him that it was following all of our requirements and that it was following some of the other garages that are on alleyways as well. So there was no direct issue. And then the other ones were the neighbors to the south that are happy to have a house built <coughs> at this location. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is recommended by the Planning and Economic Development Department that the Zoning Administrator, sorry, I don't know why it's the Zoning Administrator, <laughs> Cultural Heritage Board approve a major landmark alteration permit to allow the construction of a new single family home and accessory structures at 912 McDonald Avenue. And uh, for any questions, my name is Christian Candelaria and I'm a city planner um, for the Planning and Economic Development Department and my information is listed. And that should be the end of my presentation. I think what we'll do tonight is um, <clears throat> we'll next move to um, if the applicant would like to, you know, zoom in or, or say anything, then I'm going to open up public comment. And then after public comment, um, I'll bring it back to the board for just questions and clarification from the board to staff and the applicant. And then after we get done with questions, then we'll go around the board and, and give our comments and then move towards <coughs> our final action. So that's kind of the stage of So let's um, go to the applicant if they would like to say anything or make presentation. Yes, good evening. <laughs> Oops, I just see my name on the screen. Uh, good evening. <clears throat> I wish I could be there with you. I didn't want to infect anyone with my cold uh, and I'm, I really appreciate that you're having this special meeting just to review the plans for the house. I'm so excited to move back, hopefully, move Susan, back. Susan, Susan, could I interrupt you just a minute? Could yes. you just introduce yourself and, and oh, sure. part of who you are mm -hmm. real quick? Thank you. Sorry about that. My name is Susan Merrill. I am the applicant uh, who would like to build a house in the neighborhood where I was born and raised and where my family's had a presence since uh, 1917. Uh, and um, I just thank you for having this special meeting tonight. I really appreciate that. And it, I'm so excited to be able to move back to the neighborhood, I hope. So thank you very much. Thank you, Susan. Um. Uh, Jeff, we can see that you're unmuted. If you wish uh, to make a comment about the project. Well, sure. Yeah, this is Jeff Merrill, Farrell Faber. We were the architectural firm that uh, had the privilege of preparing these drawings for Susan. Uh, she jumped the gun and just uh, got started with her enthusiasm. So I'll leave it there. And we're also excited to present this house and have Susan uh, be able to build it and, and go back to this neighborhood. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. So with that, um, let's go ahead and we'll open up uh, public comment. I have a comment. <clears throat> Please. Yes, uh, my name is Doug Bosco and I live at 1020 McDonald Avenue, which is the next, the block north of this proposal, proposed home. And I probably know this lot better than anyone because of the kindness of the Merrills who allowed us to use this lot as a community garden for, in my case, over 20 years. And um, our na many neighbors used that lot. I actually could have sold it many times because every time I was in the garden, people would say, is this lot for sale? <laughs> I didn't own it, of course. My wife and I want to 100% support 
uh, Susan Merrill in, in this project. Uh, that family is wonderful. They already have been a major part of our neighborhood as uh, Commissioner Garrett can testify to. And um, I think they uh, will be very happy in this home and they've made a lot of us very happy in the past. So I'm just here to 100% um, uh, support the, the Merrills in this project. Thank you very much for your comments, Mr. Bosco. Thank you. Appreciate that. Seeing no other members of the public who would like to speak. <clears throat> I'll speak. Please. My name is Steve Kavanis. I'm actually the landscape architect on the project. And uh, just from getting to know Susan and uh, previous work with Farrell Faber, I think they put together a really great project and I'm in full support and just wanted to be here to, to say that. Thank you very much. Okay, I'll close uh, public comment. Okay, come back to the board then. Um, do board members have questions or clarifications they would like to ask either staff or uh, the applicant? Or so you could even ask if Susan's still on, we could probably ask her as well. Okay. Vice Chair Garrett. I'm sorry, I always have questions. That's but good. For Susan, if you're still there, it's really exciting to have this lot be built upon by your, especially by you. Um, and by the family. I remember looking at plans, I don't know, 20 years ago they, that Bud, your dad, um, had done for this lot. And unfortunately, he didn't want to work with us. And I think he held a grudge against me for the rest of his life. <laughs> but I'm really happy that you're doing this. Um, my question is to, um, I guess, to you, Christian. Um, the gable window in the attic, um, that, how is that going to be treated? Uh, it, it's a window to mm -hmm. an unfinished space. Mm -hmm. and, it, and so my question is, um, how is that? It's not going to, it's going to have clear glass. Can it, can we um, ask that it have the same or, or appropriate window um, um, covering on the inside that's that similar to whatever's mm -hmm. going to be on, on the rest of the inside of the house so it doesn't look odd. I think Jeff might be able to comment on that window a little better. Yes, so we would, uh, the proposed method is to install the window. The window itself would match all of the, the detailing of the other windows mm -hmm. and behind that window would be a a black painted uh, piece of wood so that you would not see into the to the attic space. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. This is, oh. may, may I add a comment? <laughs> to so what I I thought actually to use a shade because as we all know McDonald Avenue is very busy. At Halloween, and so it, I, it, I thought it would be fun to do something in that window, like I don't know, a silhouette of a witch or something at Halloween. But for the most part, I would use, I would have a shade so that there's no glare or nothing can be seen out. But for holidays, I thought it would be make it um, festive. To That's do a great idea, Susan. I think the uh, the end result here is we would block it out so that it's not viewable into any of the internal components of the home, um, whether a shade or, or some other method. But that's a great idea, Susan. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, I think that's <clears throat> my, for now? my question for now. I may have more <laughs> later. <laughs> I have a question for no. staff. Um, when we talk about it be having um, a well house, mm -hmm. is that a decorative or it's an actual, there's an actual working well that's being allowed in city. Yeah, city. <laughs> uh, they could explain a little more, but I think they wanted to use a little bit for landscaping purposes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Everybody on the street yeah. has wells. <laughs> yeah. And that has had a well for, I don't know how long that, there's always been a well back where they were <clears throat> closing it. And, um, so it'll be a working well. 
Yeah, okay. They kept a lot of our wells that were working in in the Burbank Gardens neighborhood. They kept them? Yeah, <coughs> they were, a lot of them were not allowed to be continued, so that um, was just, I didn't know whether it was a decorative mm -hmm. building or whether we're calling it a well house. No, it's we all have well charming. And, <laughs> yeah. Okay, wonderful. Other questions, clarification? Okay, we're just gonna, we're gonna move then on to um, comments and I'm just gonna kind of do a roll call with comments and I'm gonna start with uh, Vice Chair Garrett. <laughs> so this, this is your opportunity now to basically, and I always remind people, you can talk about what you like about the project as well as what you don't like about the project. <laughs> yeah, it's always nice to hear both. Um, I'm appreciative of the project. I um, very much appreciate the landscape having changed to be more appropriate for the, for the street. Um, thank you. I don't know what your name is down there, but thank you. <laughs> and thank you for the ginkgo trees. They're spectacular, as you may have noticed, yep. on the street at this time of year. Um, basically, I, I, I only have a couple issues with the house itself. I didn't realize a concept that you were considering, um, and I guess Jeff could answer this. If, is that okay to have him answer a question that I have? Sure. Um, or Jeff or Susan, if you're still there. Um, I have an issue with um, the um, Hardy Board siding. Uh, it would be the only house in the entire McDonald district with Hardy Board siding. Um, and the newer houses, uh, some of which are only probably eight years old, maybe 10, um, have all got lap siding. So I would, I would uh, like to see lap siding. It's more appropriate for that kind of architecture in, in this particular neighborhood. Um, I appreciate the change to the wood clad windows. And the only other issue with the wood clad windows it are the Moyans. The Moyans are um, between sandwiched between two panes of glass and I would like to see and I know it's they're available with the exterior grid um, so it looks more like a true divided light. Um, there are no others in the neighborhood that aren't true divided lights so um, that's one issue. The other issue is with the light fixture. Um, and I would like to see a more traditional, this is traditional architecture that's been um, presented to us. And I would like to see a light fixture that's um, in that same um, historic, uh, you know, like a lantern or something, not a, <clears throat> not a multifaceted glass fixture. Um, but other than that, I think the project is great, and um, and I um, hope we can um, get it moving as quickly as possible. Kathy, could you explain that window? What exactly you were talking about? Uh, yes. Yeah, so it's a the, the windows are um, they have the panes of glass, which you can see on the plans, mm -hmm. and instead of being wood, they're they have a plastic grid that goes between two sheets of glass. So it just doesn't look like a real traditional divided light. But they do make those same windows. Well, they make them with true divided lights. But the other way to go is with the grid on the outside and on the inside, but not sandwiched in the middle. And that looks more like a true divided light. So that's what I would be asking for. Chair Muser, if we're um, beginning deliberation, I believe you need a motion on the floor to start deliberating. Okay. Um, so if someone can make a motion. Do we need that or if we're making comments? Um, yeah, I think, I think, okay, I guess, yeah, we should, we, okay. well, we should call. Um, so, <laughs> What, Essential, I make a what we need right now then is uh, from one of the board members to make a motion to approve resolution, 
or file number LMA22-202300. Yeah, 2016. <laughs> oh, 2016. Okay. Oh, this must be, this one has the old one. Um, I would like, so file number would be PRJ22-027. You might have the the child number, which is LMA22-016. <laughs> Sorry, it's a little confusing. Okay. And what about this resolution number? What is it under? Sorry. Maybe you could, would, would you be interested in making a resolution? Oh, and here's the file number. Okay. Yeah, I, I move. <laughs> I, well, I make I make a motion that we um, put. Okay, I don't know how you say that because we're going to be adjusting it. But I, I think we would just say, move the resolution. Well, well, so you would you would uh, propose an um, a motion and then you could um, suggest a friendly amendment to the resolution to include the items that you listed, and then we would need a second. But I don't. I have to read through all this stuff. It weighs the reading of the text. Yes, the just the, the okay, so all caps. Uh, yeah. yeah, the first part then weighs the reading of the text. I move that we accept the resolution of the Cultural Heritage Board of the City of Santa Rosa approving a landmark alteration permit for the Merrill residence located at 912 McDonald Avenue, McDonald in the McDonald Avenue Preservation District. Assessor's parcel number 180-670-033 File number PRJ22-027. A second. So we have. Um, and I waive the, the reading of the text. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we have a, a motion on the floor made by Vice Chair Garrett and a second by Board Member Fennell. So now we can <laughs> open discussion. And so some of the things that you brought up, you can. You can amend. offer those up as friendly amendments, amendments to the resolution. So I guess that would come under D. Um, so I am offering in <laughs> this process. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and I'm, um, I'm offering an amendment. Um, Does there need to be a motion for those friendly amendments? This would be a separate motion. So, so we have a motion on the table, oh, and now you're amending the motion to add. Oh, okay. So conditions I or move to amend the the um, motion um, for approval uh, under section D. Um, so, it's I think you just say yeah. specifically what what you would like specifically to do. see true lap siding in place of. Um, party board and um, I don't know how exterior mullions for the windows um, rather than the, the um, grid between the two panes of glass and a, and a more appropriate light fixture um, than the contemporary one that doesn't feel appropriately with that style of architecture. And then if um, Ms. Fennell agrees, she can second the friendly <laughs> amendment. I second that friendly <laughs> amendment. Just the applicant. It's up to the chair if you want to hear the applicant's um, opinion. Or... Yeah, I wouldn't mind if Susan wouldn't mind weighing <clears throat> in on the friendly amendments that were made. Uh, sure. I Thank you. I I understand the um, the <laughs> the desire to have everything as uh, historic as possible. I'm I guess I don't understand enough about lap siding except the house I grew up in on Spring Street had it and it was a pain to maintain. Of course, that was also really old, <laughs> really old lap siding. Um, and also with respect to the window, the grids. And am I correct in understanding that you want it outside and not inside? Not not between the two panes of right. glass. There can be a false mullion on the inside and a false mullion on the outside. Okay. 
Well, so it's just, it looks like it's a real divine of glass from both the inside and the outside. I completely understand that too with the French doors we had where I grew up and having it like that. So it from my perspective, it's it's all right to do that. It's it's just more maintenance with that kind of thing. And what was the third the light fixture? Not a problem to change that. Thank you. And I like your idea of the window shade. <laughs> Can I okay. make a quick clarification on the siding, please? Um, mm -hmm. Because the terms can be used interchangeably. Um, and when you say not hardy, but lap siding, is it you do not want a cementitious fiber siding? You want it to be real wood? Or the plans call for lap siding, so it, it, is, it is drawn as lap siding. I'd just like to ascertain what specifically you would like to see? Uh, so it isn't like a big board. Often the hardy board stuff is like T111 siding, you know, a big board that you put up and, and tack some molding around. Yeah, they, they make all kinds of, of now. They, they make a lot of historically correct. That's made, that's hardy that, board. That's hardy board. Yeah. It, it'll look like wood planks, stalled, lapped. So it'll look like natural wood. So it won't have those funny lines. No. And, and I have a process question just to get us deeper into the weeds. Um, the siding doesn't bother me. It, it isn't a, a deal breaker for the me. material or the, the, mat okay. the material. Any of the way, I mean, what they have specified this being a not a, if it was a historic home that we were remodeling, mm -hmm. it would be a big deal to me. It's, it's not a it's no it's not going to be a contributor in the neighborhood. So to me, as long as it has a flavor that fits in the neighborhood, and I think it does, um, yeah, I I don't have a problem with that. So, so how is does, it a concrete? Is it a concrete? It's a very it's a very stable material that in boards that. Right. Um, it's in long boards. Mm -hmm. I believe so. Yeah. They, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Well, I've right. seen it before. Yeah. I just haven't seen it. So that I thought it was that yeah. plywood. That was so with with the initial motion and the amended motion with a second, um, when we come to the final motion, um, I don't want to be voting restricting what kind of siding they can put on. I'm fine with what's been allocated in the existing plans. So I think you can propose an alternative motion or um, vice chair could uh, Well, could change. we see a, could, is there a picture of this material on the internet that we could see? Like, I think that if we could put the picture the, of the- um, Those laps. That's what lap is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're sitting on the material board, if you right. could zoom in, I don't know. So just the board. board is just getting a little blue. Yeah. Oh. Which is a very stable material. Okay. This so one, John? It looks like wood. It's printed. It's got like so it looks like, like wood. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, I'm sorry. fine with that. One second. I am not fine with those big uh, pieces of plywood that they're tacked It's up. not that. Okay. No. It even has wood, wood grain texture to it. Mm. Maybe. When it's painted, it'll look like wood. <laughs> yeah. So, so could. Well, yeah, yeah that, that, that could take us into the weeds even more. Yeah, so. that's, I mean, I, I don't mean to, I don't. It's fire resistant. If you can if, specify that they be individual boards and not. Yeah, so, yeah, if they're individual boards. It's and, horizontal lap siding is what it is. And so. they're smooth rather than rough. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's fine. Right. Um, would Vice Chair Garrett then need to amend her motion? Yes, I if will. she's agreeable, yeah. <laughs> I will amend my um, my motion. Could we also get some more direction on the light fixture? Yeah, there are plenty of of light fixtures that are just simple, clean. Um, thank you. <laughs> I'll say if, it, if it's if it's possible. It, it, Maybe yeah. a, a craftsman 
a craftsman or a, or the, their English style ones. I mean, you know, they just have a pointed top and they have a bracket on the wall and they have a little thing like a hook that looks like you're hanging at the like a tulip light or hmm? is it like a tulip light or yeah I mean there are plenty you got there's one on there's a brand new house on the corner of 16th and St. Helena it's the newest house in the neighborhood it's probably eight or ten years old um and it has those clean I mean they're just simple lantern light fixtures okay that, that are metal okay and glass so what you this is the light here that they proposed mm -hmm. so it's too contemporary is that your for thought? the architecture i think yeah i think the house is very contemporary i mean i'm i'm the lines I well think they're, they're the same houses <clears throat> in the neighborhood that are 120 years old so right. yeah <laughs> there's not a lot of detail i mean it's all yeah, lateral. It's clean. yeah. yeah. christian can share the draw of a spec if it can, can we leave some of these yeah, these, can be. these things as friendly amendments mm -hmm. as recommendations for then the applicant to then yes. deal with. But it's just um, uh, when this comes back to Christian to review at the building permit stage, I want him to feel confident that he can yeah. make a good decision on whether the light fixture meets your yeah. Uh, Susan, are, are you still there? Bring you up? Yes, I am. So Susan, do you feel comfortable that you could pick out a, a craftsman bungalow style light fixture rather than the more contemporary one that we have up on the screen now? Yes, actually of the, of the three we were looking at, one of them is more of a, a lantern type, so not a problem. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. And then I'm, I'm fine with I agree with you with the, uh, and I believe the Anderson windows actually come with the mullions on the outside. Yeah. So, which is, so that, that should be. So if you are willing to. Well, I think we have more, we have one person discuss and we're. Yeah, well, first I want to get back. Change it back and I, I want to get back to her amendment, get that okay. fixed, and then we'll bring in. Because other amendments, I will. Okay, so can amendment. I amend my amendment? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> To um, I, well, to say that the lap siding um, be smooth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not going there either. I, 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 you, the rough ones are weird. I, I want. I I'd like them to just pick whatever siding that okay. they have. Okay. That okay. they have to say it's it's a new home. And, as long as they're boards and not. and the. Uh, um, mm -hmm. It is a new home, but I could have seen a contemporary home there. In the, well, in the they allow a, they allow <laughs> contemporary homes to be built yeah. in historic neighborhoods. That's one of the mm -hmm. that was one of the um, yeah and this items on the Secretary of the Interiors allows a contemporary home yeah. to be built new in I the know. historic neighborhood. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay, then you'll have to make your amendment. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, and part of it to me it was they came for concept review, mm -hmm. and we gave them concept review. They came back. They they achieved everything that we asked in concept but review. But we did ask that they bring um, samples of the materials. I did. I know I asked. Yeah, this is where we're pretty far down the road for picking out material samples. As far as in this particular case, again, if this was a historic structure. I'd be right there with you, but it's not. It's it's a new building, um, and the secretary, the interior allows for contemporary homes to be built on lots and historic but neighborhoods. We don't have to approve it as long as it's yeah. We don't have to. We don't as a board. I mean, they can they can say yes, you can allow that, but we don't have to as a board be pushed Correct. to to accept something. Right. Um. Well, let's let's go ahead and hear from some other board members. Yep. So, um, board member Moore. Yeah, I have a, just a question. I'm looking at the composite rendering. So, <coughs> off to the far right, um, is that part of the property? <coughs> or, um, greenery right there, or is that? Oh, 
um, it's just hard to tell. Um, which portion, sorry? So this area here. Oh, on the far right. The light green plant. Yeah. I just, is that, that's I'm part of the see. property. I'm <clears> assuming. <throat> Let me go to a plan set real quick. And, and your question regarding that? Um, I was just, so that's just landscaping or is there? Yeah, that's part of the lot. Yeah, I'm putting the well, landscape plan back on the yeah. screen. It's You'll a, see a, a lot of it is lot. is the landscaping. Mm -hmm. There, at that southerly property line, there's a proposed native shrub hedge. I'm sorry. There's a row of hedges, native hedges. shrubs, okay. at that property that line between the homes. Home. Yeah. Not that clear. So that would be the tree line. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There's an existing wood fence, and then yeah. we would plant a bunch of shrubs along that for both privacy and for aesthetics and habitat and butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> Question. <clears throat> um, move on to board member Carney. Uh, just commenting here. Yep. Doing? Yeah, I, 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 I think it's a wonderful project. I, um, I think it looks really nice. Um, having grown up in the McDonald neighborhood, it's wonderful to see a home going in on that on that property. Um, I take no issue with it. I, th I, I, I find every aspect to be to be really nice. I, I do ag agree with um, Vice Chair Garrett about the the light fixture. If that's something that could be changed, it'd be great. But other than that, I, I, um, I mean, and it's that's not even a make or break for me. I think it's a I think it's a great project. I think they really respected the the neighborhood and the the, the overall um, the way the home fits inside the neighborhood. So. Yeah, that's, I think it's great. Thank Board Member Carney and Board Member Marsland. Uh, I agree with Patrick. I think that the, the neighborhood uh, is going to certainly benefit from this new home, and it's it's uh, it is lovely. I I, was, I drove by there today. It's a little more contemporary than I uh, expected it to be. Um, but I went back and I read some more about. I'm new on the committee, so um, about what. What, what is allowed and its historic and contemporary styles are acceptable. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very contemporary. And I look at the house on either side, it, it does um, look very different. I'm not certain if some different sort of siding along the top would make a difference. Like next door, there's scallops, you know, mm -hmm. so I don't know if that would confuse the whole issue, but um, just it's very contemporary. It's lovely. It really mm -hmm. is. I'm certain it will be a a nice addition to the neighborhood. Thank you. Board Member Fennell. I also really like the project and it was it's nice to see that it came back. One of the things, because I was there for the first meeting when they brought it and that didn't bother me then but bothers me now is the same um, material on that chimney as the house mm -hmm. itself mm -hmm. and that the district is you don't see the same hardy backing board going up chimneys in um, the McDonald neighborhood. There, there is some kind of, a, I'd love to see it mixed up with a little bit of stone or I know that we don't like to see brick. <laughs> like some, something that's, I, I just, I think that part of it is so, um, I understand that it's a more modern house in that in that district and stuff, but I just it looks like a little bit too tracked home for for me just having that. And it, if for some reason I don't remember being bothered by it when I saw the plans initially, but seeing that it's the same um, material from the house going all the way up and then taking that all the way up on the chimney, it um, throws me. There are at least four other houses on the screen that have that. I know, and I, I, I've seen them, and I just, I, I 
I prefer them more. What other material would you? I would love to see, you know, a, a stone or brick, I would, just something to break up that, to break it up. I don't have a problem with that. Yeah. That's the first yeah, thing used. Pardon me? Is that the first thing you used? Mm -hmm. it's, but it's that kind of house. It's a New York kind of yeah, house. Yeah, it is so contemporary. It's like exactly a, right. a house that has like five But it mimics homes. the architecture, mimics the other homes that are that size on the, on on the, the same street. street. But there are brick ones. There are homes with brick, and yes. and I think as a board too, we can yeah. basically um, give Susan and uh, you know our our desires. But that at at, at a point, we'll have to decide whether that's going to you know keep you from approving no that's not a or, keeping i'm just asking yeah, if they okay. would consider so, so that. um not ha I, that to me just makes it almost look like a home in a development that um there are you know five different floor plans and you choose which one you want <laughs> so that's it, it's a custom home and that's the only thing that keeps it looking for like a custom home for me okay um I'd like to compliment the historical review. I thought it was very complete, very well done. I'd also like to compliment the staff report. I thought it was very well done. Um, I appreciate the fact that they kept the garage in the back off the alley because none of the other houses have driveways uh, down the side. I think the, um, the height and the size is proportional to the lot. Um, it is interesting and probably what makes it stand out so much is you have a Victorian sitting next to it. Totally different architecture and Craftsman is anti-Victorian. If you go look at the history of Craftsman architecture, it is everything that a Victorian is not. So, um, so it, it's very much contrasting and it should be. Um, I think that the design is complementary to um, other uh, similar uh, neighborhood structures, and I do uh, believe that it does have a you know a new home look, but um, that is that is allowable uh, in historic neighborhoods. It's it's not ever going to be a contributor. It's not trying to be a contributor. It's just trying to fit in nicely with a nice nice neighborhood. So um, I support uh, Vice Chair Garrett on her windows. I think that's a, a good motion. And I also support her on her light fixtures. Um, I'm fine with um, letting the siding be designed as the architect has, has designed the siding. So, um, so unless anybody else has any other comments, we'll move back to Vice Chair Garrett to see if she would like to amend her um, friendly amendments, and then we'll go to, to vote. I thought I already did that. But we didn't. You started to. You started, but we didn't get a second. <laughs> we didn't, and, and we have to go back to uh, board member panel for a second. Well, let her do it first. Yeah, no, I'm. <laughs> the fly. Yeah, that's a big one. He's huge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Full fed. Somebody has to smack it. <laughs> Maybe it's a drone. <laughs> um, okay, I, I will. Can I stipulate? I would still like to see it be not rough um, wood or fake wood. Any, any comments from other board members on that? I have harder board in my house. I mean, I don't have an historical house, but it's it, the look. I know I'm fine with a hardy board. What I'm, now that I know that it's not a sheet. But textured hardy board. You have textured? Yes. On the outside? Yes. So when it's painted, it looks like wood. It's just, you know, no one would be the wiser. Okay. Okay. Um, thank you. <laughs> so um, I would like to amend my amendment. Um, I'm fine with the siding. Um, however, I would like to see the windows have the mullions. Um, and that's all windows, 
Okay. All the windows. Okay. Yeah. Um, is this a consider or a shall? So shall would be they would have to do it, and consider is it's up to the to them to. I, I think it should be done. Um, okay. It warrants it in this neighborhood, for sure. I mean, there. This would be the only house in in the district. No, there's one other in the district that has the uh, millions on the outside and the inside. Otherwise, they're all true divided lights. Mm. Or they're metal windows, or they're, I mean, you know, um, the, the old, whatever, they're, the leg window, or whatever, supposedly leg windows. Okay. Yeah. Just so I know what you're talking about, you're talking about the black part in this rendering, or the white part? The, the black part. The black, the black part, part okay. where the small um, panes are, I mean, the mimicking. Sure. Yeah. And then the light, I would suggest that they choose a um, light fixture that's appropriate for the architecture. Okay. Second? Uh, sure. I will second. We have a motion, and then we have a second motion. Yeah, they with seconds, so take a vote. Yeah. Okay. So, Ms. Buckeye, if we could call for a vote. Board Member Boren. Um, aye. Board Member Carney. Aye. Board Member Fennell. Aye. Board Member Marslin. Aye. Vice Chair Garrett. Aye. Chair Muser. Aye. So that motion passes with six ayes and board member Klein being absent. Okay, thank you very much. With that, not seeing any other board, we'll call the meeting adjourned. Thank you all very much for being here. Thank you, Susan.